So we're back again today on Parque Fernando for another Axis Deer hunt. And pretty much everyone knows by now that the diamonds for Axis Deer seem to be spawning just like way too commonly. There are level fives just everywhere and they're really not all that hard to find. So I thought just to kind of change it up because I did still want to go hunt them today. We bring the air gun because it's a weapon I pretty much never use. And I think it'll be kind of interesting to kind of chase them with that because it's certainly not going to be as easy as with a Mosin just kind of like can hit them on the run or whatever because the air gun actually fires quite slowly, so I think it'll be interesting, and we'll definitely have to be a little more strategic in our approach. That's actually a pretty good size four, so we might try to start with that. To be honest, I'm not really sure about frontal shots with the air gun, though. I mean, it might be okay, but I think we're going to be best off just like hitting the axis deer color and getting them to move, because they should have to go broadside to try to get over here. But this kind of already gets into a bit of the challenge of the air gun, because if they're walking really at all, it's kind of difficult to, like, get a decent shot in there, because it is such a slow-firing weapon. But that was definitely a lung shot. And to my knowledge, the mill dots are basically 25 meters with the air gun, so he was 75, and we just zeroed for 50 and aimed kind of like with the first one down. But I have seen level 4 diamond axes. I don't think that was a diamond rack, but he definitely had an estimate that uh, could reach diamond. But he is just a pretty good sized gold. I mean, 210 is not bad. But that actually got better penetration than I thought it would. 75 meters isn't crazy for that, but definitely a good start and kind of good to see what the air gun's capable of, because I just really don't use it often. And is that a thing, like, with the new sounds? Is it, like, the first feed zone you discover or the first animal you harvest in every session? Because it only does it once. But I can't figure out actually why. But there was another pretty good size 4 in there. And actually, while he's kind of being alert, he's around 150. I think a little under. That looked like right in the crease behind his shoulder. And yeah, he's going down, so... Honestly, it might not be too bad even shooting, like, a little bit of range with the air gun. We might try to get, like, really far shots on diamonds if we find a bunch of them again. But I'm really not sure what the deal is going to be with respawns, because in multiplayer earlier today, I saw some level 6s, which is definitely not good, and somebody saw they, uh, said they saw level 7. So... Not exactly sure what to expect with that. If we start seeing some of that in single player, we'll probably go to multiplayer and just try to find a server where there aren't a bunch of those, but I'm hoping the respawns at least can work properly. But really, that hit pretty much center of the lung, kind of right behind the shoulder like that. At 140 meters, I think we'll be pretty good to try some kind of rangey shots with that. Now that, I could actually see being a diamond level 4. That certainly looks like a diamond rack to me. And when I initially spotted him, I thought he might be a 5, but we're looking at... About 180 meters. I think I want to just back up to 200 because then it's going to be kind of like right on one of the mill dots instead of kind of trying to guess in between. But we'll try this at 200. If it's 25, we need to aim actually way lower than I thought. Should be something like this. I mean, it definitely hit him. Not dropping yet. Now he is. So I think we got that. That pie ball's alert, but just send a pellet his way. That didn't even hit him. I don't know where that went, because I don't feel like I aimed much different the second time, but got him good there. I guess it kind of makes sense, because we pretty much made the same shot on him, but they kind of died in the same spot here, so that's like a good-looking young Axis deer, I think. And as for the four, I definitely think he has a chance. That looks like a diamond rack to me. But he is actually just a gold. Only 198, so really not even that close. I'm not sure what... Uh, okay. Don't know how I managed to get him to go away. I'm not sure what's actually keeping him from being a little bit higher scoring. He looked bigger than the last one we shot, but... Anyway. Guess that'll be good for respawns, assuming they work properly. So this was the spot, if you saw the stream yesterday, where we shot three level 5 axes here and all of them made diamond. But I don't actually see anything huge here. But also, as far as any potential respawns, things seem to be the proper level, so we might be okay. This guy goes to a higher score estimate. It's probably because he actually has brow tines, so I guess we'll try to get him. That's not going to be much of a kind of rangy shot, but still we'll go for it. And I don't know, you can actually get shots off a little more quickly with that than I thought, so I'll just take both of those. So the one with brow tines, I really like that frame. I think this is one we actually saw on the stream. So maybe he's not a respawn, because that looks like a lot of axis here I've seen in real life. But he's 173. I just want to see if he actually scored higher. We kind of ran by the other one to uh, talk about that for a second, but 
I mean, he should, because they count the brow tines. Although this guy is 186, so... Maybe... The main bean length, I guess, is the biggest thing? Makes sense, it's by far the highest uh, part of the score, so... Guess that kind of balanced it out. Alright, there we go. Got an actual level 5 this time. He's 209 to 251. There's actually a halfway decent pie board in there too, but just if you want to see this spot, because it's not one that I actually show going to like super frequently, it's this little lake up here, which I kind of didn't know was that good for access deer until I started grinding for a Legacy Diamond one recently. And I realized there are actually quite a lot that use this area. There are also two fives here. Now, I know I visited the spot during the stream, and I really can't remember, like, if we got any diamonds here, or if maybe, like, we got here late. I don't know. But I would have to think those would be respawns, because to have two of them here, surely I would have noticed one of them. So I'd like to manage to get, like, a double here, but the one five is behind that bush, and the other one's just, like, so kind of packed in here with the other ones. I'm not sure how we can really quickly get two shots off, but we're going to try anyway. And I don't know what a frontal shot with the air gun's going to do, but I guess we may find out here shortly. So just go for kind of the chest. And then the other one. We definitely hit him. Definitely got him good. And then the question becomes, what happened to the first one? Because the second one we definitely got. That is not the first one. The good news is I don't at least yet see any huge antlers uh, going bounding up that hill. That is hunting pressure like we killed too, so maybe that worked. Honestly, I'm not even sure which one this is. I think it's the second one. And I would say, actually, that is not correct. That's the first one, so just barely it reached into that right lung there. So 225 on him, that's not bad. And a ton of people keep killing max weight diamonds, but... I've actually only had one, it was my first one in multiplayer. Everything on my own map has not been max weight, which I don't really think that means anything as far as like the legitimacy of the spawns. They all seem to be kind of off, but let's go over here. I can see the other one uh, glowing right down there, so we'll see if we actually manage to double diamond with the air gun. Hopefully we can manage to avoid getting run over by too many of these. He actually kind of went down in a nice spot. I might try to screenshot that. I have a bunch of screenshots of them already because they do look good, that's the one thing, like, as much as they are spawning way too frequently, they do look really good, and I wish I could stomp down that grass, but I tried on my way through and it didn't work, so kind of makes that for a less cool screenshot, but that is a max weight one, to go figure, so they are happening on my map as well. 229 on him. One of my biggest ones, I think we got one in the 230s, or maybe it was one 229, but that was double lung. Kind of low double lung, almost messed it up, but... A quick, uh, a quick shot there, because I wasn't sure if he was going to spook, because I couldn't spot him. Not too bad. So, again, uh, diamond axis deer are way too common. Um, if you've not hunted them yet, they're out there everywhere. Like, if you just go out on your map, you're going to find them. But, I mean, I guess it's cool to take them with the air gun. Okay, this could be a lot of fun, but I have no idea where to aim. There is a level 5 axis deer over there. Which, we visited this spot yesterday, and I think I missed that. Because we killed one, like, small axis deer, and, and unless that's the respawn. So, here's the thing. 200 is about the limits of what we can figure, like, to zero for. So I kind of want to try 300 meters. But, I almost want to test it first. Because just to, to try it on the live animal, the most likely thing is we're just going to hit near it and spook it, I think. So, how are we going to test this? Alright, there's a little, like, brown spot there, which I don't know if we can actually really be able to focus in on. I think we can. And I'm just guessing, like, bottom of the scope. It's going to have to be even higher than that. I mean, just by a bit, though. Let's try it and see what happens. I mean, worst case, you know, we're missing on a level 5 axis deer, which there are certainly plenty of. But now we gotta wait for him to turn broadside. It is currently 7.41, so we got some time. We could maybe take a practice shot on that black buck in the meantime, but it's kinda not at the right range, and I don't wanna get out of range to do this. I mean, I don't know, maybe we actually have a better chance, like, at this angle? We need to be right about there. It 
penetrated through frontal. I think we're just going to give it a shot and see what happens, because who knows how long it's going to take him to turn. Let's see. Oh, we hit low. Alright, so we got to be even higher than that. We'll let him calm down. And at least we know that now. And maybe he'll give us the broadside shot we need, because it just takes so long for those fellas to travel. Like, if there's any chance of him moving, we're just we're just going to completely miss. So now we got to wait. Oh, and I think he started drinking, like, behind that brush, which does not at all help our case. Yeah, he did. Alright. Get him spotted again. And then... Oh, we definitely hit him. That didn't look too bad. It's gonna take him so long to start dropping. I think we got him. Unless it's, like, vertebrae, but... I actually wouldn't expect him to drop that fast. I can't believe that worked. I mean, one miss, but not too bad. It's actually even medium bleed rate. And again, he fell in some of the brush that we can't actually stomp down. And actually, we have a buffalo situation, so we're just going to claim this. Left lung, he's a 234, so he's my biggest one. At 306 meters with the air gun, I am trying to not die, but, well, I guess I should have just let it happen. But we got a screenshot of the harvest screen to go back and look at everything. But I think that's a left lung? Or it would have been a right lung, I guess, at the angle we had. Was it another max weight? I feel like I saw that in passing, but I was too busy trying to uh, get him taxidermized and get out of that situation. Well, anyway, it's 8.01 now, so maybe we'll try, like, one last spot where we can just, like, fast travel to, to a location where they drink. Maybe this spot down here. There actually is another pretty good one in there. I can't get him spotted. But honestly, we might just kind of take a shot and go from there because I cannot get the spotting info to come up. But, I mean, at the very least, we'll be able to figure out what he is after the fact. I think he's just a four, just like based off the size because he doesn't quite look wide enough to be a five. But that should get him just fine. And honestly, my biggest takeaway from this video has been that the air gun is actually a lot more effective than I thought, and that I should probably use it again for some of the other, like, small species in the game. But let's see if we can figure out where that got to. Definitely a vital hit. And that means he should be right over here, but he is max weight estimate, so certainly a chance that could have been a 5, but I just didn't see, like, enough width for him to be. Or if he is, I'd say he's a troll. But, yeah, it's definitely got to be... Just like a decent four. Right on 184, actually. Kenneko is like wider on one side, but he's got a much bigger brow tine on the other. And this fork is like really kind of narrow. They both are, but that one in particular. But anyway, we're going to head back to the Trophy Lodge. And my perspective with like the diamond axes here being super common has just been like a lot of people, including myself, put quite a lot of hours into hunting axes deer and trying to get like you know, legacy diamonds, or even just rares for the lodge, and I had something like six or seven axes deer uh, from the legacy antlers in the lodge. So, if nothing else, at least, you know, we can uh, make up for that and get the new ones in here quickly, because obviously the legacies just don't compare. Like, there's no way I could leave a legacy diamond axis deer in the lodge with a bunch of true rack ones, because the true racks look so much better. So, at the very least, you know, we've been able to kind of replace them quickly, but I'm trying to think of what I have as far as um, spots left for Axis Deer, because we killed three today. So we'll put one in here, and this I've wanted to save for an albino one, because we got like a big pie board on the other side. I mean, 208 is definitely pretty good size, so I had an albino legacy one here, and I think I want to put an albino Drurak one. But for now, we'll put him there. And I don't even know what we have for other available spots, because I think we... Oh, these two are actually both open, so... For now, we'll do that. I don't think I'm going to keep it that way, but that'll actually just be our other two. I mean, that actually does look kind of nice. I think I'd like to get the elk out of there for maybe like a moose or maybe a Rocky Mountain elk would be better. Actually, I'm going to try that. I mean, maybe it does crowd it just a little bit, like there's almost too much antler there, but I like it better to where the Axis deer aren't like dwarfing the elk, so I think this is how I'm going to leave it, but yeah, I mean... Go figure, the air gun is a pretty darn good weapon for Axis Deer. We got a 234.1 diamond at 306 meters, which was definitely one of the highlights of my Axis Deer hunting so far. And yeah, got a couple more to the Trophy Lodge. And I actually do like this, like, all in a line like that. 
it's actually kind of cool, so I may end up leaving this room like this. I wasn't going to, but it actually works pretty well. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.